After 40 days of Lenten penance, we're now in the middle of 50 days of Easter hope and joy. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, the U.S. Director of the Apostleship of Prayer, the Pope's worldwide prayer network. I must admit that sometimes it's hard to be hopeful and joyful when I watch the news or read the paper. There's so much violence and so much darkness in the world. In his apostolic exhortation, The Joy of the Gospel, Pope Francis challenged the disillusionment and pessimism that can be such a temptation today. He said, quote, if we think that things are not going to change, we need to recall that Jesus Christ has triumphed over sin and death and is now almighty. Jesus Christ lives. His resurrection is not an event of the past. It contains a vital power which has permeated this world. In other words, our Easter celebration is not simply a matter of remembering that Jesus died but then rose. It's a time to commit ourselves to live in union with Jesus Christ, who is alive and present. That requires faith, which Pope Francis said means believing in God, believing that he truly loves us, that he is alive, that he is mysteriously capable of intervening, that he does not abandon us, and that he brings good out of evil by his power and his infinite creativity, end quote. Bringing good out of evil? Really? Yes, because God took the worst evil that humanity could have done when his own son was crucified, and he brought out of that evil act the greatest good the world has ever known, our salvation, our liberation from sin and death. So exercise your faith today and don't give in to hopelessness. Christ is risen, and we too will rise.